Hello, firewood friends. This is Chris. And once again, today we are in the wood yard. Today is another cleanup day. Going to be scooping up bark and sawdust and all that good stuff and depositing it back in a little area that I have off to the side over there. And then I'm going to work on these piles here. I've got a pile of uh, locust right here off to your left that I'm going to be uh, stacking. Uh, this pile right in here, so I want to get this stacked. But before I do that, I got to open this area up right in here and get some pallets down, some runners. And I'm going to be stacking the wood that's back over here, too. That's a little bit of oak, and there's a couple other things in there, too, that I'm going to stack back where I left off, back in that area where you can see the, the wood going down at an angle. So I'm going to kind of work on that first, and then clean this out, and then start opening this area up. I've got some pallets down. You can see a pallet right there. Right down there is a pallet. And actually, I've got... I believe there's like five or six pallets that go all the way that direction. So hopefully I can start stacking right in here because I cleared that area out before I put the pallets down so I wasn't on top of sawdust. So I think I can start stacking right here and just go that direction into the pile and uh, get all this locust stacked up right where it is. It's not where I actually wanted the wood to be, but I wasn't here when my uh, truck driver brought the wood. He, he kind of just set it where there was an open spot because my locust is actually back that way. I kind of like to keep the kinds of wood that I have available together. Uh, it just makes it a little easier to know where it is and how much I have left for when I'm delivering and when I'm advertising for what I have available. However, it's no problem because this is a half a truckload right here, almost a half a truckload. So I know what it is and um, we'll get it all cleaned up and get organized. So here we go.
us. Pretty fast. Couldn't run him down. Oh, look at here. We have another friend. Look at here. Mr. Snapper. Mr. Snapper. Hello, Mr. Snapper. Oh, he didn't like that. Hello. 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 Hello, Mr. Snapper. Okay, I guess we'll leave him alone. He didn't like us saying hi so closely. We'll get back to the wood. Yeah, he wants to be left alone. Whew. That's the most running I've done in a long time, chasing the turkeys down. Couldn't catch them. But if I wanted to get one to eat, I think I could have. I got within 10 yards of them. Before I turned the camera on, they came around the hill where I was stacking wood. They were gobbling like crazy. And I think they were maybe 20 feet away at the most. Because the way I have my wood yard set up, I'll show you. I'm stacking wood over on the other side there. And the turkeys were on the other side of these rocks right here. So they came around. They came around and they were right on the other side of this hill. And uh, I was just looking at him kind of through between the cracks of the wood. Anyway, no fun, back to work. Okay, that pile is done. I'm done chasing turkeys and snapping turtles and we're gonna get back to work on the pile next door here. So yeah, this one's all done. I got this area here kind of all cleaned up as you can see. And we're gonna hit that pile. And I'm gonna start Right here in the corner where the pallet starts. Right there's a pallet. And I'm gonna kinda just build and work my work that direction. And then when I get area cleaned off over here, I'll start cleaning up this bark and sawdust and wood chips and all that good stuff there. So off to the races we go once again. I am again. I've been stacking wood like a maniac for the last like four or five hours and I just checked my phone for the first time today and I should have checked it sooner. I just got two text messages. I've got two wood deliveries now that people want wood so I'm gonna deliver 
a load of pine, pine <laughs> for firewood, for a camp firewood. And that's in town here, I'm gonna deliver that. And then I got another one that's out of town and I, they want half pine and half maple. So I'm gonna do that. So um, I was gone for like a week or so and I, we took our ad down, didn't have it publicized. And while I was gone, I got, I think it was eight or nine orders for firewood. And um, when I got back, I scheduled all of them. I only lost two of them, people that wanted it right away. So I think I got seven orders and then I got two more uh, the day I got back. So I had nine and I think I got one more the next day and I hadn't even run my ad like in two weeks. So I sold about a thousand dollars worth of firewood as soon as I got back from being gone. And then my wife put the ad in on Craigslist again yesterday. And yesterday I sold two loads of wood, two face cords, pickup loads. Actually one was a face cord, one was a face cord and a half. And then now I just got two more. Um, so probably gonna sell out of wood pretty fast. So I'm gonna load this puppy up and then we're gonna go deliver it and get some money put in my pocket where it belongs. Well, I've got it loaded and I didn't have to stack it because the pile that I got it from was six feet high, six feet wide, so it's a little more than a face cord. And then I threw in some extra chunks of some maple that are sitting right here just to give them. So I'm off to the races to deliver this one because I just got another text for another guy who says he'll be home for an hour. And if I can get it there by four, he'll take it. So I gotta go deliver this one, come back, load up another one, and then race off to that one. So people just can't wait to give me their money. It's a good thing. I've seen a bit. Okay, I delivered the last load and I just started chucking this next one in. This next one is going to be half a face cord of pine and half a face cord of maple. And I'm going to chuck it in and go deliver that one. So here we go again. <laughs> Loaded. There it is. Mix of pine, maple. Oops. Uh, there's a little bit of cherry in there. So I got it loaded. Now I'm going to go deliver it. So here we go. Down the road again. I am back in the wood yard. And on my way back, I got another text. So another person wants another load of the pine for firewood. So the ad is working great. Um, in the ad we basically listed it as great for fire pits for outdoor fire burning and now that the weather's getting pretty nice people are doing that and uh, being that it's on a weekend um, people are thinking to themselves we should have a fire so it's a beautiful night for it too so I'm going to deliver another one here we go
loaded. So I got the face cord of the pine on. That's the first three rows and I threw some extra in. And then what I do for a lot of people is when they're getting like just one kind of wood, sometimes I'll throw something extra on there, you know, armful of something different. What I do for a lot of people, I get these weird sized chunks like this, these oddballs that really don't fit into a pile, like these little shorties or cookies, things like that. I'll throw a few of those in there, maybe, you know, five, 10, dozen of them just for some free extra stuff and i just tell them there's some odd ones you can have for free that didn't really fit into the pile we're sitting around so people always appreciate that to get a little free bonus item that's real key to keeping your customers happy is always give them a little bit more than what they pay for or something a little extra it works so off to deliver this load now here we go i am back i delivered three loads of wood this afternoon so i've got very little done on the stacking. I stacked for, I don't know, maybe a couple hours this morning and then I started cleaning up all the wood, you know, as far as sawdust and bark and stuff. So I didn't get a lot of stacking done, but I got about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half before sunset and I'm going to use it to get some wood stacked. So I'm going to do some stacking. I'm going to take some of this stuff, put it right over here because I'm getting to the pile and I'm too close to actually do any work in there because it's just so tight. So I'm going to start a couple runners out this way, bring some of that around over here, and uh, kind of work with you know the space that's available. So here we go, stacking time. Once again, I'm a failure. I did not achieve the objective planned out. Because I had to deliver a bunch of wood today, I didn't have a lot of time to spend on stacking. And then when I did get back to stacking, a buddy of mine stopped over and we chit-chatted for 45 minutes, so that kind of shot a bunch of time. And now the sun went down, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ago, so it's gonna start getting dark fast. But I guess I got a little bit done. I got this little stack right here done. I got these two rows right here, I got that done. And I got a lot of this right through here done today. There's like is there four rows, yeah. So those two, and then this row over here I got done. So I got a bunch, I guess. I just wanted to get it all done today. It was my goal to finish um, this whole stack right here, but that won't take me long tomorrow. I'll have this all done and cleaned up tomorrow. I'm thinking within Less than two hours, I should have it all done. So tomorrow's another day. It's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, so that's okay too. And then I'll head to the other piles. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I know you want to do it. Everybody's pushing the buttons. You should do it too. It's a lot of fun. So I will see you tomorrow. Same wood time, same wood channel. Good night, Irene. <laughs>